Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking, and for all your support. And if it's your first time, welcome to this channel. I am Daphne. Please make sure that you stay and that you subscribe and you click the notifications bell so that you do not miss out when I post a new video. So we're back again and it is prayer Monday today. And it is a little bit different today because you can't see my face. You can just hear my voice. But prayer remains the same. The power of God is present and the spirit of God is present right where you are for God is omnipresent. Glory to God. So I was just asking the Lord, what should I pray about? And I was meditating throughout the day and um, the Lord just reminded me about the process. In every season, we go through a process before we see the results of the process, whether the results are positive or whether the results are negative. We always experience a harvest after the process. And as you know, uh, for example, if you look at a farmer, he has to plant the seed, he has to wait for it to grow, he has to cultivate the ground, he has to prune the plant that comes out, he has to water it, make sure that the plant is exposed to light. So there's a process says before the farmer reaps the harvest he goes through a process of planting pruning and preserving and you know we have been looking at the book of Esther throughout this whole month I don't know if you've been watching these videos and I pray that you have and that they're ministering to you we've been looking at the book of Esther and I'm reminded of the 12 month process of her beauty treatments Esther went through a 12 month process first six months she used oil of myrrh and we are told that the other six months she used perfumes and preparations for beautifying women so we don't hear anything about this process but what we do know is that there's a testimony for Esther Esther has a testimony where she comes out of that process that surely she is beautiful surely she can be pre presented before the king you know processes are seasons where we never really think about thanking God for the process. Processes are like the engines of a car. They take us to a certain place that brings us near to our purpose, near to the environment that God has called us to be in. There's a process to every season. Every season. There's a process to every harvest. And we want to pray for grace to finish the process. But before we pray for grace to finish the process, we want to thank God for the process. I don't know if you're listening to this video and you're looking at your life five years ago. Your life was not the way that it looks like today. Ten years ago, your life was not the way that it looks like today. You went through a process to get to where you are today. So we want to pray. But at the same time, we want to ask God for grace to finish. We need grace to finish the process that God is taking us through. There's a process for every season. There's more seasons to come, but we must finish the exam. We must finish the tests. We must grow and go through the wilderness that God is walking with us through. So let us pray. Sovereign God. There is none like you. We honor you. We glorify your holy name. King of kings and Lord of lords, thou art worthy, thou art holy. Thou art righteous, thou art true. We glorify you and we thank you for your word that is a light, is a light. and a lamp on our path, a lamp to our feet. Mighty God, thank you for giving us the gift of your Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us, to teach us, to empower us even through this process. And today we want to give thanks. Father, we thank you through the process. For the process is educating us. The process is perfecting us. The process is evolving us. The process is edifying us, almighty God, for the harvest that you have prepared for such a time as this. Father, we thank you for that harvest. Lord, we thank you that through this process, we can reach the harvest. It is because of this process. It is because of us walking and running in this process. Thank you for your power to enable us to run and to walk. Thank you for your spirit to help us to walk and endure these processes, mighty God. 
for the harvest that you have before us. Lord, today we supplicate in the name of Jesus for grace to finish and to finish well. Grace to not abort the mission, to not abort the process. Mighty God, empower your people today to finish. Some of your people, they need new direction. Some of your people need new energy, new strength, new motivation. Mighty God, mental agility, mental strength, psychological ideas and concepts. Mighty God, that they may finish the process. Some of your people need patience today. Lord, inject your patience, almighty God, into their hearts today in the name of Jesus that they are able to endure. Lord, it is not only a fruit of your spirit, but Lord, we ask for even grace. Grace. Teach us by your spirit. Teach your people by your spirit to walk with endurance, with patience, and with joy. Mighty God, as they maneuver and finish this race, the race to the season of their harvest. Lord, this we pray in the name of Jesus, the name above all names. For Father, you can do all things. Your hand is not too shortened to help your people who are called by your name. Sovereign Lord, I thank you for finishing anointing, a finishing anointing, finishing grace. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that your people will finish and they will finish well. Like in the days of Esther when she finished well and she found favor in the sight of all after she finished a process to a harvest, a process to the harvest of being presented before her king. Mighty God, she found favor. Lord, even now we ask for favor as your people walk through the seasons as your people finish the seasons into the next mighty God, let them receive your favor today. Favor with people all around them, even their enemies, mighty God, favor. Let your hand lift them up from the miry places. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, mighty God, we thank you. Thank you for molding us. We are the clay in your hands. Thank you for forming us. Thank you for shaping us through the process, mighty God. And I thank you that we have the assurance that we will finish and we will finish well. For your word is our light and your spirit is our guide. King of kings, Lord of lords, we give you the glory we give you the honor and we give you the praise as we receive, as we receive the grace to finish well. Thank you, Father, that even throughout this week, you are beginning to minister to your people, even through angelic activities, even by your spirit. Oh, God, I thank you for new things that are coming into the lives of your people in order to enable them and to encourage them as they walk through the process. God, we glorify you and we thank you in the name of Jesus, the name above all names. Amen and amen. Glory to the Most High God. Child of God, you are blessed. You are highly favored. You are chosen for this generation. You are chosen to walk the path that you're walking on and you are chosen to be a victor. You are chosen to win every battle through Christ, your Savior and your Master. Never be afraid of the storms. Never be afraid of the patchy roads and the patchy grass. Never be afraid of the rocky soil and the rocky ground. For what is inside of you is not shaped by what is outside, but it is shaped through Jesus Christ and through the Spirit of God who already lives inside of you. So God bless you as you finish the process and you will finish it well. God bless you. Take care. Bye.